welcome to a new episode. Um, again, this is remembering, uh, thinking, exploring, uh, try to make sense of it. So, well, thank you for listening. It's um, Saturday morning, um, about 10 o'clock, and... Um, I wasn't actually thinking about recording anything today. Um, I've been thinking while I was journaling about the idea of me being in a sandstorm um, and how um, how frightening at the same time is uh, not seeing and not being able to hear anything and and also not be able to sort of like open my mouth and say anything. So I can't see, I can't hear, I feel like I can't move, I've got no direction. Um, I remember um, some years ago in another one of those like existential crossroads that I went through. Um, I think this must have been 2017, 2017, 2018. Um, and I remember closing my eyes and if I had to describe how I was feeling was um, being on a beautiful sailing boat uh, in the middle of a bay and I could see perfectly well the shore and the island ahead of me where I was uh, directed uh, but there was no wind whatsoever. Um, so... I started cleaning the boat and mending and fixing and repairing and polishing and um, all the things that you would do, you know, when when you're on a sailing boat. The classical activities that you do 90% and the rest of the 10% is just sailing. And then at a certain point I realized that probably the universe was giving me a moment of sort of like standing still and I had to learn to trust the process of standing still and what about if I enjoyed this lack of wind without even doing anything but really learning to stay read a book fish cook something sunbathe bask in the sun and just enjoy the moment without actually always having to fret and do something but in that vision the sun was warm and i've learned to trust the process and i've learned to trust source well now the way that i feel is that i am in the middle of a sunstorm and if you are listening to this installment number four you will realize that I've chosen not to put any music in the background. Because I think that what I have to say and the fact that I am saying it is important. And I don't want my voice to be, uh, as a learning process, to be overcome, uh, if that is the word, by some sound in the background. So yes, this is just my voice. And that is a candle flickering in the background. I've got one of my cats walking up and down in the living room. My coffee is ready and warm in my cup next to me. When I was texting a friend of mine just a couple of minutes before starting this session, um, I texted her that I felt like drowning. And I thought, that's a strange feeling or a strange word to write when I'm feeling in a sandstorm and still... The word that I've used is drowning. So I'm thinking about air and how much air is important to me. I am a Vata person. If anybody knows anything about Ayurveda, that's very much an air and ether element. Um, I tend to suffer from um, very... Um, sort of like painful sinusitis attacks and anytime there is just a little bit of wind I'm already automatically feeling cold and shivering you would recognize me anywhere in the world because even if there are like 50 degrees outside I'm always wearing a hat or a beanie hat on my head 
um, an air of vocalizing has been important to me for a long period of time. Um, I've head behind a pen um, in writing and and heading behind a camera while I was taking pictures. This I've actually never been uh, never been out there and vocal in whatever I'm uh, got to say. And and now there is too much air, too much air. You know, in that vision previously there was no air in my sails and now no wind in my sail and, and now instead there is too much air because everything is a whirlwind with all this sun dust and a sunstorm that is around me. It is monocolor, it has all this sort of like a beige mustardy kind of colour. And I don't know what is gonna happen when all of this we're gonna settle down. It will. It will settle down. I'm, I'm learning to trust again. This is another process, and I'm, and I'm trusting it. But I think that learning, to say what I feel and when what I experience is important. Is, so I'm just sort of like cleaning my internal cupboards and sort of like yeah, I've got one of those like cellars when there is a lot of dust and a lot of old boxes, and I'm trying to pick one box when I find the strength because I haven't got the strength to do literally anything <clears throat> so I'm picking up the boxes and I'm opening the boxes and I'm thinking oh look at all this shit in here I've got to throw this thing out so this is where I am this is drowning in thunderstorms I would rather be on a sailboat to be honest somewhere nice and Listening to the sound of the cleats and uh, lying, you know, next to the mast, and there is a sort of like just nice balancing the waves, and you're just there in the sun, and there is a dark blue or dark green sea all around, and yeah, just beautiful and peaceful, and you can smell the saltiness of the water. And my sea has got loads of Posidonia floating on it because that's the kind of Mediterranean sea that I'm used to. But yeah, now instead it is a sunstorm and I'm hoping that somewhere this is like Egypt and the moment that the sunstorm is down, <laughs> some shit will come up or uh, like an archaeological discovery and somewhere we'll find a chest, hopefully with this shopping list of things that I've got to do in this life and not feeling that I'm somehow wasting mine. So I think this is okay for today. Enjoy your coffee wherever you are. And again, thank you for listening. So this is it. One episode's done. Now more journaling, more thinking, uh, more walking outdoors and elucubrating, which is always a good verb to use. So if you want to know more about me, you will be able to find me on Instagram and you are able also to find me on my website, which is www.matildetaumat.com. Okay, see you around. Bye.